It's 2 a.m. with Nathan, car edition. 1 Thessalonians 5, 6. So then, let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. One of the best ways to keep awake whenever you're driving at night so you don't fall asleep is to have a driving buddy, someone else in the car with you, to tell you stories, to ask you questions, maybe even to disagree with you. And having a driving buddy in the car with you can be a tremendous blessing. It can help you be much more awake. It can help the long trip seem much more doable. However, not all traveling buddies and driving buddies are the same. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of driving with certain people who say, oh, I'm going to be with you. I will stay awake. We'll talk the whole way. And they are asleep in the first 10 minutes of the seven hour drive. <laughs> Maybe you have people in your life like that too. We need to make sure that we have good driving buddies to travel with us as we travel through life. I know for me, one of the greatest temptations when I'm driving is when I look over and see the other person and they're sleeping. Oh, that sleep looks so precious. I so want to fall asleep with them and just sleep in the car. And so what should have been an opportunity for me to stay awake ends up being a temptation for me to fall asleep. We have this also in our spiritual lives too, don't we? We need to stay awake, be sober. And if we walk with other godly men and women in our lives, and we allow them to speak into our lives and walk with us and encourage us, we can do those things. They will keep us awake. They will keep us ready and, and we will be more alert. However, if we surround ourselves with other people that allow us and encourage us to fall asleep spiritually, they're going to be a temptation in our lives also. And not to stay awake, not to be ready for what God is doing. So, as you go throughout the day today, consider which people in your life are godly men and women who won't just say they're going to stay awake with you, but actually are going to care about you and stay awake with you and invest in your life. And take the time this day and this week to invest in those friendships. Because they're the ones you need to stay awake and become who God has called you to be. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that you put godly men and women around us. Help us to invest in those friendships and those relationships that we might be able to stay awake and stay alert together and become who you've called us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day.